I do a, the physical exam first. So I have a patient today, his name is Troy, and Troy has a very large mass sitting right on the top of his left foot. Like, wow, okay. The mass on his left foot is quite appalling. This is the craziest looking bone tumor I have ever seen. Very red on here, as you can tell, like the skin is super irritated. Troy. Yeah, super bad. How's the pain if I'm pushing back? Like really bad. That's like really hurts. bad. Yeah. Okay. How about right on the top of here? Yeah, it, it hurts a lot. If I touch the bottom of your foot, yeah, that hurts. A that lot. hurts too. Yeah. The mass that's underneath Troy's skin looks very bubbly, like it's all, you were boiling water, and just big bulbs were just popping up but they're very hard, it's not movable. You cannot move this mass at all. It is just solid mass right on the top of his foot. Here are your x-rays. All right. If you can try your hardest to look beyond the mass at the bone, this whole metatarsal bone has been kind of deviated from where it's supposed to be because there's a ligament that holds this bone and this bone together. We call this a Liss Franks fracture. It's a, it's a ligament that holds your whole foot together. If it breaks, then the whole foot just splays out. That's what's happening here. Yeah, it's the first time I'm ever hearing that. The doctors told me that I fractured my foot. Yeah, like usually people, when you say fracture, you're like a break in the bone, like mm -hmm. in the shaft. Yeah. But this is not that type of fracture. It's a ligament. Exactly. That's scarier, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more serious than just a regular fracture. That's what is the cause of a lot of your pain, just because your foot's not stable. But we have to do first things first, and we have to tackle this mass here. So Troy's diagnosis is the fact that he does have a Liss Franks fracture underneath a huge osseous tumor. The Liss Franks fracture pales in comparison to what this tumor represents. So we have to do the work to figure out what there is to be done about this bone mass. There are bone tumors that are benign, which means they're not cancerous, and then there's ones that are cancerous. We have to figure out which kind you have. So when I heard the word cancer, I got really terrified. And I was like, okay, this is really bad. 